Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Rahab and I have a document here with me that I scanned. Uh, it's not really a um, PDF but it was converted into a PDF after I had scanned it because I didn't, I didn't have the PDF document. But what I did, I took a question paper that I had uh, for me to practice at home from Mem Khatsin and I scanned the document and I converted it into a PDF. So this is what it looks like. It was a previous question paper from last year. So we'll be doing it um, for now because we are done with question with 2019 question papers. So these are instruction on page 2. It says the hour and the marks that are being allocated and it also mentions here the examination number which is your ID number with all of us TVET colleges um, it's our ID number so we'll be starting with um, section A which is word processing approximately 72 minutes so question 1 I'm just gonna get down to it because you know I've always been saying that our videos take only 15 minutes so we need to make good use of that 15 minutes so I'm not gonna say much but I'm just gonna show you the step-by-step -step guide and get on with it. So question 1 says use MS Word or MS Access to prepare the data source document for mail match using the information provided on the next page. Ne? It is not key in the words, field names and records as it only indicates the information to be keyed in. So we're just going to go and see um, our work that has been given on the next page. So I'm going to rotate this page because it's not well aligned so I need to re rotate this page this is page 6 page 4 okay this is what it looks like so I'm just gonna go and look for my word document because the instruction says that we need to use a word document so for my computer I'm currently gonna be working with 2013 maybe some of you guys are working on 20 on 20, 2010 or but I'll be working on 2013 for today all right this is what it looks like like I said before when you come here you need to make sure that you backspace backspace that there are no spaces you know when I put in my night yeah, it shows how many spaces are there but if I backspace it has to be nothing that, that is showing before or after this night. All right, so we're just gonna get on to it, get on with it. Let's see our question paper. How many rows are there? There's two, four, five rows, two, four, and six columns. So this is the quickest, the quickest way I do it. I get a five, five. So, as you are doing it, you can show that you can see it's been shown that five times five table, then you leave it that way. So, I'm gonna type in everything as it has been indicated here on page four. Like I said before, I have a problem with my keyboard, it's not working well, so I'll be using an on screen. Um, I'll be using an on-screen device that I'll be working with with my document. So I hope you guys understand and you'll be patient with me. So I've typed in my my document as requested by the question paper. So we're just gonna go by the instructions that were given to us on page um, on page three. So, let me just zoom it in a bit. Yeah. So it says in dinner key in 1.2 said the data source document should appear in font type Cambria size 12. So we're just going to click on control, long, play, long press control and A. But because my keyboard is not working, I'm going to use this on screen one. So you long press control and then you click on A. It's going to highlight your, the whole of your document. And then that's when 
you will change the font again so let's do it again one more time yes so it's cambria you can just somehow type it in So let's just go back and check. So let me just hide this. It says size 12. We did that. And set a header with your examination number and question 1 centered in MS Word. So you're just gonna, this is a shortcut of doing things. You're just gonna come up here. Come up here, double click. And then your header is going to pop up. And then if it has been requested of you to um, to insert a footer, you can just come at the bottom of your document and double click as well. And your footer will be there for you to type in whatever. Maybe examination number or whatever. So, but then for this instance, it, it's requesting us to to type in our examination number. So now I'm going to type in my name. Hey, it's going to take a bit long because now we're using this on screen thingy. R E H A B. So, <clears throat> examination number and question one. And then it said you're just gonna highlight it and make sure that it's centered. So for this instance you can just say control C and your header is gonna be there. It's gonna be there. I like highlighting it in bold so that it can be seen, you know. So you can always come here and click on this B, or rather you can just control long press control and b and then automatically it's going to be bold so okay moving on let's go so we have done this already it says keen the data accurately is provided which is a 10 mark so the data that is that we should fill in accurately it's this one that, you, that we just did ne? so now it says the field name must appear in uppercase Uppercase is capital letters. These are your field names. They are in capital letters. And write a line the contents of the data source document. So we're just going to highlight the whole document, docu um, the whole data that we have typed in to be, let's see again, write a line. So you're just going to come here, up here and choose an option that says write a line. For everything. Okay, let me just do this. This way and write a line. So as you can see they move to the other side. And then it says change the page orientation to landscape. So you know once you go to page layout and just choose here on your orientation landscape. And you're good to go. So now it's changed. My rulers are just so. I don't know what's going on with my rulers. Let me just fix them a bit. Lord. Okay. Let's, let's just move on to the document. Right align the contents of the data source. Change the page orientation to landscape. Adjust the color width to ensure that the data for each record is visible. And displayed on one line as indicated. Save the okay. So this is what they're saying. You come up here on this on this little box that is here, and then you're just gonna say autofill, autofill to content as we did with the 
other previous question paper, which is question one. So I'm just going to move this table from here and move it a bit to the side. Okay, so everything is fitting in one content. Go, there's no other. Uh, names that are coming underneath each other, everything is fitting in one content. So I'm just gonna uh, make it to be a bit bigger. Alright, so everything is fine on our document. And then what's the last instruction? So you see the document as question one according to your college's examination number to print the data source document, please. Okay, it says, okay. We're just gonna save it now quickly. When you save this document, it's gonna come up here, it says file and say save as. So we're going to create a folder. Okay, as we had done with the previous question papers. Let's see. Also we have here 2019, final 2019 and final 2020. When you create a, a folder for your work um, during final examination, save it on your desktop because that's where you can find it easily. When you close everything, you can see just looking at you and smiling at you on your desktop. On your desktop. Unlike, you know, uh, saving it in places that you won't find it, you'll be looking for it and your work will be missing. Alright, so my advice is that save your document in the desktop. Just double click on the desktop and everything that is on is going to pop up here. And then you're going to come up here where it says new folder. When you click on this, it's going to give you a folder that is yellow, that is empty. Then you're going to rename your folder. I had done already because I have a problem with my thing with my keyboard. So I had done this already. So you're just going to double click on the folder that you just created and name your file, your document that you just that you just finished with. It was question one. Question one. Question one. Question one. Then you're done. Let me just delete this because I was practicing with this. Okay, so question one, and you're just gonna save it, then you're done. Your whole document, it's been saved. So guys, don't be nervous. If maybe you see that you have done something wrong, you can just go back to your question paper and see the instruction that have been requested and redo things over and over again. This method is very quickly. It took me only 13 minutes to finish this. It could have taken me 10 minutes, but because, because my keyboard is not working. If it was working quite well, I was going to finish in 10 minutes. So you can do it as well. And anybody else, if you're struggling, keep on practicing and you will get it eventually. And if the question paper talks about spell check, spelling check and proofreading and everything, it's just gonna come here and check. You see it's gonna suggest, it's gonna suggest some things that are needed to be fixed. It's gonna give you an option. You can just say ignore and say ignore, cause this is boy. And boy, it's in Afrikaans surname. You can just say ignore, ignore without changing anything. But make sure that everything is fine and you're not going to make a mess while doing that. Alright, it's just for you to be, to, to make sure that you, you won't have those red lines and everything. So I'm done with question one. We'll be moving on to question two. And yeah, thank you so much for viewing this video.